this over here it's alex so he's so excited he's just coming out of the room running in stairs so excited they still are sad because the uh, train in which they are going has been delayed 40 minutes hey kids welcome to yet another wonderful session by physics wala this is shri raj your physics tutor for the day well i hope you're all in your ninth standard and this wonderful journey of yours is going to take you uh, to elevated heights be focused in your ninth standard and that is going to help you a lot in your upcoming classes well today i'm here with the concepts of distance and displacement we're gonna learn in a whole different level than your conventional way so i hope you're all super ready to see colorful visuals which i'm going to show you and help you understand distance and displacement so we all get started with our wonderful friend alex yeah you heard it this over here it's alex and alex is super excited do you know why he's excited or what he's excited about well alex over here is uh, very excited because his him along with his family are gonna visit a circus all right so here is alex his dad his mom and we've got his little sister let's call her summer yeah people do get named after month right cool so he's so excited he's just coming out of the room running in stairs so excited but today it's uh, not his lucky day uh, as they were traveling to the railway station it became too messy there was lots of traffic can you see how difficult for them to go through this uh, dance party there's a procession happening yeah did you just see his face oh my god it was uh, so bright it was so white and this just became so small and he's so sad oh my god what does he do now well he doesn't want to miss the circus because this is the last show happening and it's not like if you miss today's circus uh, they're gonna let you in with the same ticket for tomorrow's show and tomorrow is good school guys it's sunday today uh yeah it's delayed so somehow they finally reach the railway station i mean look it's kind of was supposed to be happy but the train which he was supposed to take to the next city the show is super famous it's not like uh, it's gonna be done in every nook and corner it's gonna be uh, super famous they're going to do it once in a year and that's happening in the next city now what are they gonna do he's still start again it's not at all the day what he was dreaming of so yeah somehow they wait and train comes all right train comes but the fate was not in their hands they still are sad because the uh, train in which they are going has been delayed 40 minutes because what because of another train crossing it's a freight crossing waited so their train was halted did you see how bad of a day is it for alex i mean this uh, summer over here she is so happy she is happy because she's so small she couldn't kind of uh, get what is happening she's just happy that she's not going to school right she, no, she doesn't even know it's sunday that's why i'm not going to school that's small okay cool now what he does now you tell me if you were in this scenario what you might have done you would be like oh god or you'll be like you'll be praying to your uh you know uh the angel right or anyone who saves you the guardian angel you'll be praying oh dear guardian angel will be guarding me always why don't you help me now help me now and yeah reaching the venue at the right time alex just like you will be praying to his guardian angel and he steps out of the train oh, well yeah indeed they are sad they are going to circus he steps out of the train on the platform closes his eyes and he'll be like oh dear guardian angel please help me out to reach the venue on time and guess what here starts his lucky day so 
yeah his prayers were heard by his guardian angel and she pops up out of nowhere like it is a miracle it is a miracle in the show and then what happens she listens to him so she knows all the scenario it's like she want to take him to the destination quickly so what she does yeah alex is such a, a brave guy he's not afraid of heights so he uh, gets a drop from his guardian angel well how does the guardian angel take him does she just go in the same track how the track is do you think so kids i mean like i have a question for you you might think the guardian angel will be taking the same path is it so or she can just fly straight away however it's late i mean why does someone with wings would be taking path roads are for those who have legs and not for those who have got wings right it's a superhero stuff what's happening here okay cool so what she'll be doing yeah the train might be halted here she will just fly straight away from here to the city where they're supposed to go so quick so easy one straight line to their journey right and what happens alex reaches uh, the position the circus yeah although his parents come a bit late they're so happy that he was able to uh, see the show all right so he sees the circus he's so uh, you know freaking happy that he was uh, able to enjoy the whole circus all because of the shortcut what he took the straight line what the guardian angel made him fly right so what just happened here let's going to understand the train was supposed to you know take such a long path and reach the destination right so if he were supposed to go by train the distance traveled by him would be so lengthy as lengthy as how the train goes well that's what we're going to call it as distance so what about displacement displacement is simple it's like the uh, fairy right it's the guardian angel who just help alex straight away fly between two points in a straight line that's the shortest part between two points that's displacement shall we write it yes if alex were to travel in uh, a train right so the distance actual distance traveled okay so let me write it for you my dear kids so the distance traveled it's actual distance actual path covered by an object okay actual path traveled or covered traveled by an object here it's the train by an object what are we going to call that that's what is distance traveled okay what about displacement well the uh, the fairy i mean the guardian angel did not just take the actual path she flew between two points in a shortest way it is the shortest path it is the shortest path between two points okay between two points that's what we're going to call it as displacement all right since it is shorter it can never be greater than distance this will be always less than distance okay let me write it it would be always okay less than distance okay and what about distance it can be less than or equal to displacement okay how or equal to let me going to help you out okay it can be more than it will be always okay more than or equal to equal to displacement cool and how are we going to measure it well there is another story which i always tell uh, whenever uh, you know uh, one day what happened alex mom just uh, told him to uh, go buy some uh, you know drinks outside it's like the cold drinks you know what happened alex went straight away without asking how much he bought loads of it and there he got his beatings so from then he started asking how much what is the quantity so yeah distance is measured by in a unit called as meters okay so represented by m even displacement it is measured by meters cool is it cool 
yeah that's distance and displacement if you want to understand with uh, a small example well i can help you out distance is the actual path let's say you want to take a bike between two points you're going to just go in the same path how the roads are that my dear kids is distance taking a shortest path between two points that's displacement by the way you cannot randomly take any shortest any path this shortest path has to be in a direction right imagine uh, you're taking this path the shortest one okay you're taking this path the shortest one this this is displacement between point a and point b now the same distance if you want to take in the other direction do you think that's the shortest path never that's not the shortest path i mean you can go like this as well so what does displacement have displacement has something called as uh a direction we're going to call cer certain quantities with a uh, unit and direction as vector quantities okay see displacement has to happen in a certain direction okay let me add one last point so displacement is a vector quantity because it has got it has got both value and it has got the direction okay it has got the direction and value well distance is a scalar quantity are we cool are we absolutely cool by the way uh, well displacement can be positive it can be negative or it can be zero well display distance can be only positive all right let's try to understand distance and displacement with an example are you ready are you ready to do a poll let's quickly try to understand what's happening yes sir well the distance and displacement of a car traveling from a to b we're supposed to find it let's see what's the distance distance is the actual path well the car is traveling 10 kilometers let's write 10 kilometers and it's traveling 10 more plus 10 kilometers plus another 14 that's uh, 10 plus 10 plus 14 kilometers that's how much 24 plus uh, 14 uh, 24 34 kilometers that is 34 kilometers what is this this my dear kids is the distance now we are supposed to find the displacement which is the shortest path between two points and mind it the displacement has to happen in a particular direction well they are one displacement right so first point is a second point is b what's the shortest path it's a straight line don't you think so indeed you would right now how can we find this well, if you could see a triangle, half of your job is done, okay? I'm going to just draw some lines here and let's see if this is going to form a triangle. Are you seeing this? Yeah, indeed, that's a right angle triangle. And you learned in your ninth standard and eighth standard that a right angle triangle has got a 90 degree angle between two of its sides. Now, how can we find this? Now, let me just give a point here, C, all right? Now you got to know that distance is 34 kilometers and over here, but still, if some of the options have got 34 kilometers once again, you're supposed to find it. Now look, in a right angle triangle, the square of the longest side, that is AB square is equal to AC square plus BC square. AC square plus BC square. But do we need AC square? We just need AC. Take square root case, okay? Do not worry, I'm going to help you out in each of the steps. Now, look carefully, what is AC? AC we do not know, sir, you might say. But see the value. The length is same as 10 kilometers, right? So AC you can write 10. And AC square, it is my dear case, 10 square, right? Plus, what is BC? Well, sir, we know only this much, this is 14. But BC is this much plus this much 14 plus 10 it is 24 yes you guessed it right it is 24 square now what is ab ab is equal to root of 10 square is 100 okay plus 24 square don't you know 24 square see if you have got 3 times 3, three you multiply 2 times 3 into 3 9 so 24 square is 24 times 24 what do you get it yes come on tell me uh, I will just do it quickly over here so that to save your time, it is 576, okay? So it is 576. Is it right? Okay. 
14 plus 10 it is 24. 576 plus 100 is 676. How much are we getting? We are going to get 626. Uh, a b is equal to square root of 676. Now how to take square root? If you are wondering how to take square root, okay let me help you out. But uh, see square root of 676, uh, it is 26 but how sir I will tell you. Now look carefully if you have got a 5 into 5 that is what 25. So if I want to ask you what is square root of 25 you would say it is 5 right. Similarly, if you multiply 26 into 26 twice, you would end up 625, 676. The square root of it would be 26. So the right answer over here is option C, my dear kids. Distance is 34 kilometers and displacement is 26 kilometers. Did you just see how, as I said, displacement will be always lesser than distance? We, we just saw that. Well, cool. So I believe we learned a lot today regarding distance and displacement. Uh, that's all for today kids. Thanks a lot for attending. It was really wonderful teaching you in such a new way and I hope you will be following this. We are going to meet again for lots and lots of many other sessions. Till then, ta ta take care, bye bye and do not forget to practice every day.